to the channel. A month ago, that's how far behind I am on videos, so I'm sorry. A month ago, I asked you on Instagram to send me your questions that you wanted me to answer for this one. So, here we are. I'm not wearing a hat. My hair's falling growing back, so. Let's get to your questions. You guys have some good ones. I will be answering every single one of them this time. When can you work out again? I actually am working out now. I got the okay from my doctor at my last postpartum visit. I'm okay to basically do everything I was able to do. Unfortunately, because of this oh so wonderful thing in my arm, I can only do core glutes and legs, but I'm working out again. I'm happy about that. Every workout is a good workout, no matter what it is you do. I just love it. All my workouts you can find on my Instagram or TikTok, which I do now have a TikTok, so go give that a follow too. And occasionally I will post some on here. Since this is a QA video, we won't do any on this one, but definitely future videos. What has being a mom taught you? You don't need as much sleep as you did, or as you thought, to function. This morning, I was up at four. I have not gone to sleep yet. Asher wanted to spend some quality time with his mother bright and early this morning before the sun was up. And he's definitely worth lack of sleep. I love this little boy to death. He's actually upstairs right now with his dad. And I'm just, I love him. Oh, and you don't realize how many diapers you're gonna go through until you have a baby. <laughs> That's what being a mom has taught me so far. Am I going to the gym still? Not currently. So last October, whenever I was diagnosed with breast cancer and we knew I was gonna be starting chemo, which lowers your immune system, I froze my gym membership just because I didn't see the point in paying for it monthly whenever I can't even go to the gym to work out. But I will definitely be, re I guess, unfreezing my gym account whenever I'm done with everything. And right now it is frozen until November of this year. So chances are, even though I'm gonna finish chemo in April, I still have radiation and the surgeries that I'm gonna have to do. So I'm just kind of gonna wait and just let it ride out until then. And hopefully come November and December, I'll be able to fully function like normal and hit the gym like I used to. What glute band do I use? I am a big fan of Susie B's glute bands. I love her products. I love her stuff. I use her glute bands, her long bands, her ankle straps, and her bar pads. So if you don't follow her, definitely give her a follow. Shout out to Susie for having the best quality products that I have ever used and you're not gonna be disappointed. What are my goals this year? Hmm. So, the goals that I usually set for myself are pretty high, at least I think so. So, I mean, obviously, you know, I wanna get through chemo, I wanna get through radiation, I wanna get through all the treatments, do whatever I can to stay cancer free and be here for Andy, Asher and my family. But my biggest goal that I'm trying to accomplish is to get my bikini body back by the beginning of summer while going through chemo and raising a newborn. And we're gonna see how that's going. I'm really hoping though, because I can work out again, that the process is gonna speed up now, so it's not just gonna be on diet. So, fingers crossed. Do you think the Olympics will happen? Guys, I really hope so. Like, I was so upset last year whenever I didn't get the Olympics. I look forward to that every four years. Like, I love the Summer Olympics. Mostly because gymnastics is in it, but I also like to watch swimming, and I was just so upset. But I'm really hoping, because they keep showing commercials for it, they keep talking about Tokyo, that we are going to have the Olympics in 2021. I hope. Although this time last year, the Olympics were still going on last year too. So I'm really hoping we're gonna have this whole coronavirus thing under control and I can get my Olympic fix. Do we have a home gym? Um, I mean, I guess 
kind of like yes and no. So a lot of my stuff that I've been doing recently are home workouts. I definitely have the equipment that I use with every workout here, like the dumbbells, the glute bands, the long bands. Um, we have a barbell. We have some free weights. I have an elliptical that's hanging out behind me. We also have a reflex bag. I mean, like we definitely have like some equipment, but it's not like a home gym. You know, like we don't have the bench press or the squat rack or anything like that. And pain is just like creeping in this video. But I am really trying to talk Andy into, you know, like kind of using some of the money that we just have to put away just for whatever to actually get a gym. So I'm really hoping because if I can't go to the gym until November and I'm able to start doing things once I get my pick line out, I need like the weights and stuff. Like I want to go and like crush these workouts hard like I used to. What's my favorite area to work? Mm. A lot of it kind of depends on my mood. So normally I love a really good back day. I can do back every day if I really wanted to. Like just something about, you know, just like being able to pull and do things is just an amazing feeling for me. I think a lot of that is because I ended up fracturing my back whenever I was like 14 years old from gymnastics. So going from a very weak lower back to being able to do what I can now I just I love it I think that's why I like back so much but whenever I'm not doing upper body like I love doing leg day I'm probably one of those weirdos that actually enjoys leg day and I think you know those are really like my two favorite areas I really look forward to leg days right now because I can do them again and it's fun there's always legs you can do there's so many leg workouts what is my favorite snack? I absolutely love making my chocolate peanut butter protein bites. I showed how to make that in a vlogmas video back in 2019. Yeah, back in 2019. I will post that for you in the description if you want to check it out. But it's super healthy and all you need is the ideal fit chocolate collagen protein which if you use my code nikki15 you do still get 15 percent off at checkout you need peanut butter honey um like rolled oats and if you want to put like candy in it like i like putting either m ms or chocolate chips just to kind of give it like that extra chocolatiness and like just like an extra texture but that's it you mix them all together you roll them up stick them in the fridge you can eat them as you go. Super easy, super healthy, very delicious. Probably a stupid question. Okay, first of all, no such thing. But what's your favorite animal? I love this question. I don't get this question asked a whole lot anymore. Um, okay, so I love penguins and I love dolphins. Like those are definitely like two of like my top. But I love like every wild cat, so I'm a huge leopard fan. I love cheetahs, I love lions. Basically, if it has four paws and a tail, like I'm all over it. But penguins are definitely like ranked number one. I I love penguins. They're just so cute and fun. Your favorite fast food restaurant and what do you order? Chick-fil-A, for sure. I get the same thing every time. You got to go with their number one sandwich, which is just like a crispy chicken sandwich. No pickle. I'm not a pickle person. Got to put ketchup on that. And I get their fries as a side and you have to have their sweet tea. Like I love Chick-fil-A sweet tea, but I fell on a really big macaroni and cheesecake from them. And so I was like, like the small little cup of it too. Sometimes I eat it all in one sitting. Sometimes, um, you know, like I said, the macaroni and cheese for later but it's always the same. I always get that. It's so good. I love Chick-fil-A. What's different between this chemo and last? Um, a few things actually. So the last chemo that I had, I don't remember the name of the drugs. Like these, the names of them were just like so out there and like so foreign to me that I can never remember what they are. But last time I was on two different drugs. I had decamethasone and an IV, which is a steroid they gave me. And I had Zofran or like the equivalent of Zofran, just like an anti-nausea medicine that they gave me in an IV. 
After the chemo treatment, I had to take decamethasone, which is that steroid orally for four days, I believe afterwards. And then like I was good, you know, she was like take anti-nausea as needed. And I would go back every three weeks. The symptoms I had from the last chemo were chemo brain. I kind of felt like I was in limbo, like I was walking around in a fog for like that first week after. And I think that was it. Like I didn't get nauseous. I wasn't sick. I didn't have any kind of issues as far as that goes. And then the following day of chemo, I had to go back to my doctor's office to get a shot to kind of like boost my white blood cells. So that was last chemo. This chemo, I'm on a drug called Taxil. Because I'm not pregnant, I now get 500 milligrams of Tylenol. I still get the decamethasone in my IV. I still get an anti-nausea medicine in my IV. I also get, I don't know the name of it, but it's basically to kind of like help the acids in your stomach so you don't get sick from it. So it's kind of like anti-nausea, but like not really, like they're kind of different. And I get 50 milligrams of Benadryl, which let me tell you, completely kicks your butt. Not a fan of the Benadryl. And then we start the chemo drug, Taxil, and I'm done with that. If I wouldn't have been pregnant the last treatment, I would have had all the same pre-meds. I would have had all that. With this one though, I don't need to take any kind of medicine afterwards. I just have an anti-nausea medicine in case I were to feel nauseous, but so far, you know, knock on wood, like I've been okay. I have chemo brain very badly. And the reason it's so bad this time where the last chemo, how I said I was going every three weeks. So I would get my treatment, I would be off two weeks, I'd go back the third week and start over again. I had that for four times. This time around, I'm going weekly and I've had five treatments so far. I will have number six on Friday, so I will officially be halfway through this treatment on Friday. But because I'm going every week and because it's like constantly like pounding my body, the chemo brain that I have just kind of like gradually gets worse. Not so much where I don't know who I am or like what I'm doing, but I kind of have like a fog that I'm walking around in. Sometimes I feel like I'm in limbo like I did the last time. Other times I'm just like super forgetful and I'll like repeat myself a lot. But you know, it is what it is. If that's the worst thing, then so be it. Oh, I also get leg twitches, which is really weird. Like they're not like muscle spasms, but it's just like every now and then I'll get like this jolt that like my foot will just kind of like kick up. I don't know, it's weird. It doesn't hurt, it's just weird. But I did talk to my friends who works in oncology and they all told me that whenever I'm done with this treatment, everything should go back to normal. It might take a couple weeks, but I promise chemo brain does not last forever. And to those of you who have never experienced it before, it is very difficult to understand what it is that I'm going through. Yeah, and I think the only person who actually knows, aside from others who have already like gone through this and have dealt with it, is my mom. Just because she has gone through it, I think she's really the only person in my life who I talk to on a daily basis that actually understands this whole thing. And you know, just like how, I don't want to say bad, like it's not like it's bad. It's just difficult and challenging. And it is very difficult to raise a newborn. It's even more difficult to raise a newborn when you're going through chemo, your husband works all the time and you don't really sleep. Because I did notice that lack of sleep causes my chemo brain to kind of like get a little bit worse but thankfully I have a really good support system between my parents and Andy's parents so anytime I'm struggling anytime I feel like the chemo brain is taking over or I need to sleep before the chemo brain does take over I can always give them a call and they'll come down here and hang out with Asher while I go to bed for a little bit and then we're back to normal everything's all good like right now I feel great I had a nap so it's okay Let's see. Have you thought about what you want Asher to play sport-wise? 
that's actually a conversation Andy and I have had since we were pregnant. I want a hockey player. If I had a little girl, I wanted a gymnast. If I had a little boy, I wanted a hockey player. I hope I get my hockey player. But we are going to introduce Asher to a bunch of different sports. We're going to have him try different things. And if you find something he likes, great. If he doesn't want to play sports, you know, he wants to play like an instrument or, you know, sing. Or if he wants to like draw, like kind of like do like more things like an artistic way. I'm all for it. You know, we're going to back him 100%. But if it were up to me, I would definitely want that hockey player. For sure. Like, I love hockey. What's the best way to get in shape? There is none. There's no one way to work out. There isn't one exercise for everybody. It really depends on what you want to do. The whole point of working out and getting in shape and just having fun is to find something that you enjoy. I know for me, I love to lift. I love weightlifting. I absolutely love to stretch and like do yoga and there's like different things like that. You know, like a lot of my workouts definitely comes from whenever I was doing gymnastics and then like going to the gym and lifting the weights. I hate cardio. I am not a cardio person at all. If it were up to me, cardio wouldn't exist. But I know there are a ton of people who enjoy cardio. I know there's a bunch of people who I know personally who love to throw headphones on and just go for a run. That's not for me. I don't understand why they enjoy that. Like they don't understand why I enjoy what I do, but it works for them. It keeps them active. It keeps them fit and they feel really good afterwards. There's other people who you can go play tennis. You can go to your local park and shoot basketball. And it doesn't really matter. There isn't one particular way to work out. All the workouts I post are just things that I do. If you want to try them, you're more than welcome to. And if it's not for you, it's not for you. That's what makes it so fun. That's what makes exercising so fun because there are so many workouts. There's so many different programs. There's, there's just a ton of stuff that you can try, you know, like really whenever it comes to that, your limits are almost endless. You know, you don't have any. Just do what works for you. Find what you enjoy and then just go with it. Just keep going. Find your groove. Have fun. Even if you want to dance, go dance. It's actually working out and it is technically cardio. And that answered your question because there's just like no particular way to do anything. All right, what else we got here? How has mom life been? Guys, I love being a mom. Like it's definitely the best thing I have ever done in my whole life. And I, it's not that I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. I just didn't think I was going to be like, just so in love and overwhelmed and just so just ugh, like, I love it. I love it. If you aren't a mom and you're thinking about becoming a mom, you're not going to be sorry. Like I promise you the newborn stage is not as bad as everybody says it is. I love the baby cuddles. I love him so much. And it's definitely like made my life just so much worthwhile, like so much more worthwhile. And it's brought me so much fulfillment that I can't even picture myself without him. I can't picture my life without him. And it's very difficult, as weird as it's going to say, to picture my life and mine and Andy's lives before we had Asher. Like, it's just like, it doesn't even exist anymore. It's just, poof, it's gone. But it's so good. I love, I love, love mom life. Let's see. I love that you now create a TikTok. <laughs> Thanks guys. I'm trying. I'm learning things. I now know what FYP means and I'm very proud of myself for knowing what that is because I am so new to this TikTok slang. Can we have any hints to when your next launch will be? So because of everything going on in my life, I'm not going to release anything before October. I will tell you October's launch means more to me than anything I've ever done, aside from being a mom. And you'll see why probably around August. I have everything kind of getting worked out. I'm working on the designs. I'm working on the wording and the layout and just different things like that. But I'd say about August, maybe early September, I'm going to start teasing on Instagram. 
I know this seems like so far away right now, but it really isn't. And it's going to come super fast. But I can't wait to share it with you. Your hint, I will say this much, is in October. Like, it's definitely October related. So, think about that for a minute. And tell me if you can come up with it in the comments. I'm not going to say one way or another. I'm just curious to know if you guys can pick up on it. Can we see a what I eat in a day video? I need some ideas. Yes, you can. Next time Andy gets a full day off work, I will definitely shoot a what I eat in a day video for you. I've actually been wanting to do that for a while because I don't think I've done that. I think it's been at least a year, maybe almost two years since I've done a what I eat in a day. So I can definitely give you some ideas because I love food and I love cooking and I've love eating so I mean it's perfect what is your favorite junk food hmm I don't know it kind of changes on my mood like right now I've been on such a really big ice cream kick that I love going to Dairy Queen to get a twist on a cone with rainbow sprinkles but I love Reese's I mean a girl's gotta have her peanut butter somehow Ew, Christmas tree cakes. Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes, I'd say are probably my favorite junk food. And I hate that they're not a year round thing, which is probably for the best because I would get really, really wound up from sugar. So Little Debbie Christmas tree cakes are definitely like my top junk food. Okay, so the last question. How old is your son? He's a month old. He's going to be two months here in What's today? Say the 8th. He's going to be two months old in 13 days. If you can believe that. Because I can't. I, he should not be that old yet. And he's grown so fast. Like he's already outgrown some of my favorite outfits. He's already in a size 1 diaper. Like my heart is breaking. But so happy at the same time. Because my baby's growing. And he's getting so big and so cute. He can hold his head up now. He's really trying to hold his own bottles already. And I'm like, little boy, like, just stop growing up. Just stop. I'm not ready for this yet. <laughs> I'm not ready to give up my baby cuddles. I mean, he's a month old and he is doing so well. I'm so happy. I know I say that like so much, but I'm so happy. But that was all of your questions. We will probably do another QA video, I'd say, later this year. Maybe before I do the launch. Mm. There's pain just like creeping in the background. He loves windows even at night. But that's all we're going to do for today. And I will see you in the next video. So in the meantime, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Follow me on social media. And as always, Payne and I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day.